Hello friends and welcome to this video. As you can see on my screen, I have a world detailed beam right here. And this detailed beam was actually detailed successfully from a particular detailer or a software which we are going to be looking at in this video. So if you look closely to this beam that has been detailed successfully with this software, you notice that this beam is actually a deep beam. You can see that we have the depth of this beam to be 1200 millimeters. So this is actually a deep beam. And then if you come closely to the section of this beam, so this particular section of this beam was actually cut from this particular provision of the beam. You can see section A, A. All right. So, this section is also well detailed. And this does not require any other editing. From what you have seen here, you can't be able to believe with me that with this detail, just like this, you wouldn't need to edit this uh, deep beam. You know, in a situation where we have deep beam is where we are designing for a raft on beam. And as you can see, this is actually a raft on beam design with this detailer, with this software, and then you can see the depth or the thickness of the slab right here is 180. All right, and this is the deep beam successfully. And then you can see the reinforcement arrangement and the call out of the reinforcement. Everything is being presented very neat, which you don't need to edit this. And then for the shear reinforcement, as you can see, these are the shear reinforcement, these ones, or do we call it anti-crack bars, all right? So these bars are properly arranged like this as you finish your design and then you export it to AutoCAD, this is what you get. So you wouldn't need to now waste your time to edit this. So that's why I have to call this software the best beam detailer. Because you know, I have used various softwares to carry out designs of the structural element like the beams just like this but I, I i always take my time to make sure i carry out the you know a dictum to make the beam detailing more presentable you understand but in this case you notice this is what the software gave me and as you can see i don't have any work to do on it so this is what makes me to call it the best beam detailer so how do you see this beam drop your comment in the comment section how you see this beam is it actually required addicting or does it really not require addicting from what we see from this detail and then the software will also give us this particular uh schedule all right this schedule of the bars as you can see this beam consists of about three different reinforcement diameter so we have the eight reinforcement diameter we have the 12 reinforcement diameter we have the 16th reinforcement diameter so over here we have the unit mass per length depending on the diameters of the reinforcement and here we have the total length of it so over here we have the total mass as you can see which the grand total of the mass is uh, 175.9 in kg right here so over here we have the quantity and then the bar shapes are here so these are the shape code this code, shape code you can actually copy it and paste it where you can be able to generate the shape of these bars that contain in this beam so which you will not call this now your bar bending schedule successfully so everything is being generated with this software successfully just like this so this is the best software so far that i've been used for a grand beam uh, design in terms of a raft on beam design successfully and this will give you these beams just in this format you can see over here it is showing you that this particular top of the beam is the zero level which is the normal ground level as you can see then this part of it this part of it is actually inside of the edge all right so you see what the software actually gave us here so from what we have here drop your comment in the comment section and then be able to tell me whether this is good or this is the best so far okay so having look at the beams successfully all around like the detailed beams successfully 
we will look at the whole structure right from the software all right and this software is a software that is known by almost all of us it's all that most of us do not want to actually make use of it for our reinforced concrete uh, uh, design uh, work because maybe we are not that uh, uh, you know able to use it effectively okay but I've done a lot of video on this software all right let's look at the software and what I did okay so here we go so this is Tecla Structural Designer so I was like trying to use it to design uh, raft on beam foundation from here so in the course of the design i was able to complete it successfully and then when i generate the beam details i noticed that the software actually gave me a very neat ground beam detail or raft on beam detail successfully very neat one like this so i was so impressed because i've done this with some other software and uh, he couldn't give me what I wanted. I take my time to make sure I edit, most especially the sections. I will take my time to edit this section to make it more presentable. But the class structural designer actually gave me everything that I don't really need to waste my time to edit them anymore. All right. So let me see. Let's see how I can actually uh, produced the the detailed beam from the project I had in Tecla Structural uh, Designer right here. So this project has been properly analyzed and designed successfully. All right. So all of the structural elements have also been designed. And so if you want to check the members, you can actually select on any of this member just like this right click. So once you right click on it, you can be able to check the, you know, the, the load analysis view, the, which has to do with the you know the shear force diagram and the bed domain diagram as well it will be able to show you where the shear force is zero and where the bend moment is maximum successfully in this window all right i get back to the model so to produce a detailed drawing real quick you have just have to select it uh, you know i've done a video on this particular software on how or various ways to produce or generate you are designed detailed drawings okay but for the sake of this video we just have to use one of these beam so that you actually see how this program detailed ground beam very effective all right so i will select on this particular beam right click on it and then in the drop down menu i have the interactive design right here i can go to statics options right here and here are the beams you know the beam is actually a continuous beam of three panels right here so see the first panel second panel and the third panels so these are the designs uh calculations summary you can see all the check has passed successfully and then the reinforcement selections right here we have h16 of the reinforcement and then the count is two which is at the top of the uh beam and as well as the bottom of the beam we have our stirrups right here all right the check has also passed design successfully all right so from here you can be able to make changes to this beam in terms of the depth all right if you come to the longitudinal bars you can notice that uh, you will be able to see that uh, this beam is actually having a uh, uh, 12 right here at the face you can see each face is four all right each face is four that it, those are the anti crab bars all right the anti crab bar which you can also call it side bars all right you can see it from here side bars okay so each face is four and it is a 12 you can be able to change the reinforcement from here successfully you can also be able to change the major uh, top and bottom reinforcement here in each of these beams uh panels all right so once you are okay if you click in this particular topmost one which consists of these three panels successfully you can be able to see the utilization ratio is 0 0.139 and the statute is passed right here to design a particular span please select the appropriate page so you can see these are the page so if you want to make changes to each of the plan with this software you can be able to make it uh, successfully in terms of maybe changing the 
reinforcement diameters all right so if i select in these provisions i can be able to work on this particular uh, panel as described from this provision successfully all right so if i select on the second one i can work on this panel i can also work on this panel the same thing applicable to all the ground beams or the rough beams successfully i had in this uh structure all right so after you have made your changes you click on the check option from here and then you can be able to check this successfully and then you see that we have the slender span right here showing us that this spanned we are dealing with a slender it's a warning and then you have a warning that we are dealing with also a deep beam right here okay I click on the close option so now if you want to produce a drawings you can quickly use this uh, detail drawing option right here okay so if you click on this detail drawing option just once this will take you to autocad automatically all right look at the one we are looking at this one and then the one we just generated is this as you can see so now from what we have here you can see how detailed this uh beam is and then there is no more editing i don't think we have anything to edit on this beam so this is how tecla designer does his own uh detailed drawings all right the detail drawing is such a way that you don't you don't need to stress yourself you know to put things together in order to make it presentable there is no time for that the software actually detailed even the anti-crack bars you can see how he called them out very neat and then he placed the label very proper right here like in this place you see this top and bottom is actually clashing you can be able to move this a bit to this extent to separate it okay so you can see what we have here so this is what and how Tecla Structural Designer actually design its beams. And this is basically designed as a raft beam, all right, because it is supporting the raft uh, slab successfully, all right, at the normal uh, level of the building. Okay, so I would like you to drop your comment how this is the software. Drop a comment in the comment section. Tell me you have used this software and then you are able to use it successfully or you're having challenges so if you have any challenges you can as well reach to us we are commencing training on these softwares as this software is becoming a very useful software that is incomparable in terms of uh, detailing all right although there are other softwares there but from what i'm seeing you see this software gives you a detail that is reliable and you don't edit it it applies the code very effective for some time i've used it now so if you want to become pro in the use of this software you can't join our class all right so if you have challenges also you can reach to us we can guide you on how you can get your challenges resolved successfully on this software and then be able to use it effectively for your project okay so we stop here for now and then we we'll continue to make videos on the real project using the software so that we continue to learn and understand this software successfully okay have a great day bye for now